This creative project is based on Angela Carter's The Tiger Bride. It represents and tries to bring to life the characters from the story as well as the setting in order for us to be able to look at the characters instead of just reading the details, which I think is a big part of storytelling and understanding the characters themselves. Uh, I will try to explain what the characters I created represent and who they are. This is Beauty, of course. Uh, she likes family, cleaning, books, and is being good. That's the trace that you can see in the left corner. She also has a gown that represents the roses in the story. Uh, here you can see the beast. He's supposed to be a tiger. Um, I try to make it look like he was wearing a mask. And also he's wearing a purple gown as described in the story. Uh, he also has an old-timey wig and a very old-timey suit as described by Beauty herself in the story. This is the machine that later on takes Beauty's role as a daughter for her father. I added the trait that she acts like an actress because she isn't actually alive and is pretending to be. I also created two of the more secondary characters, Beauty's father and the servant. Uh, now we will tour the house. Here you can see this is the main floor. Here's the second floor where the beast would sleep um, and a little bit of a library. And then the basement is Beauty's room where there's no windows and she's locked basically. As mentioned before, I chose to do this project in The Sims because it's my favorite game and also because I thought it was a great way to visualize the details in the story, specifically how the characters look and the palace itself. I think my biggest takeaway is that I didn't really expect it to look as bizarre as it looked, even though I was following the exact same details described in the story, which in turn made me think about all the other details that we pass as quote-unquote normal in other fairy tales.